Welcome back, welcome back everybody. Today is a dreary day of course. Look at the rain. This is Rainquest here bringing you iteration number two of my first episode back on the block centric server since my honeymoon. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm kind of peeved off. Uh, just saying, I had an entire 45 minute episode uh, that I was about to edit and bring down to proper size. Uh, when I put it into my video editing software and I realized that there was no sound. Yay! Now, what's funny is, uh, <laughs> I just got done watching, probably, I think, yesterday? I was, I got finished watching a Mug Swamp, uh, episode where he was complaining about losing all his audio. And, you know, I just, go figure, we, you know, we're on the same page. So, what happened? Well, there was a lot of things that happened and some things that I can't really do over again but it's not really that big of a deal right uh it ended up being a this ended up being a talky episode where you know i just kind of went through and I, I started building some stuff but so let's take a look so this chest right here was up there uh and it had a sign on it and it was from drac he gave me a uh a chest full of smooth stone why because i've been working on the aqueduct yes i have and that's what we're going to be doing today after i show you all the progress that i've made since i have come back and boy look at this over here yes aqueduct bing see i think it was right to there and there uh i have it actually wrapping all the way around to where about the i'll show you that sign in a second uh, all the way right to where about the town hall is going to be, which is really cool. I don't know how it's going to fit in, but I know that it's going to be right there. Uh, so this whole base is done. Uh, I have four more middle pillars, and then I think that ends up being uh, eight, nine more. Oh, crap. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Get out of here. He's a freaking sword. I am not in the mood. Give me your sword. Yes. I think that, I feel like that's mine. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> so yes, uh, so it was that. So the, this came here. Uh, hi, magnificent. We don't know how to spell. I think that's correct. Uh, and it's from Kibitz and the Captain. Thank you very much. I'm going to have some cake. Num, num, num. Uh, thank you. I think they were referencing my aqueduct. Um, and it is a resource hog. But anyway, so here's what I've done. Uh, I finished the inn like I said I was going to. I also added a uh, special little stable here. It's not much, but it adds a little bit of flair. And the best part about it is that it adds quite a bit of density. As I did mention in the last episode, uh, it doesn't completely hide my villa, but it ends up taking away half of... Um, half of the back that you could just kind of see which is really cool uh and you know it just it looks cool i i love it and you know this the shrubbery here i'm not sure if it's going to stay but uh worst comes to worst you know it's decent so here here's my front lobby i'm doing this kind of quick so uh bear with me so that we can get to the important part because i don't want to spend 45 minutes again uh so here's my front lobby i'm going to have redstone contraption that allows me to allows you to insert payment and then out comes a key card uh, one type of key card for the regular rooms and another type of key card for the suites. There are about six suites and the rest of them are standard rooms. Here's a standard room. Boom. Ha. He. Nothing in there yet. Here's the courtyard. Uh, now this courtyard is dependent on how much space this redstone is actually going to take. Uh, so I might have like a little outcropping here just to kind of pretty it up. Uh, let's go upstairs real quick. Ba boom ba boom boom. Moving along. Moving along, uh, little windows into where the lobby is going to be. This may be like a little ice machine kind of joke place. Uh, and then we've got the suites, which are not humongous, but they are enough. Now, the point of this inn is for travelers that are just here on business or for a short time. It's not designed for anybody to live here. So uh, we will have plenty of houses that if people want to move in and, uh, and live in our Roman city, then they will be able to buy real estate. Uh, or acquire real estate at their will. Um, so that is that, the Ranquestrian Mancio. So again, uh, adding some of that Roman language, the Latin. Uh, so yeah, so there's the inn. And I, you know, this is probably for the most part what it's going to be, this is phase one. There will be changes eventually, uh, but I'm gonna, I am wanted to at least get things complete. And come on, world, load in. 
Yeah, so uh, another thing, yes, my honeymoon. My honeymoon was amazing, with an exception of traveling uh, there and getting there and getting back. I got delayed on both ends, uh, the first because of fog, and the second because of a snowstorm that re the, the, the brunt of it just missed the Philadelphia airport, which is where I, my, uh, my stop was, my my layover uh, by probably about a half mile. If it did not miss, if it actually got hit, uh, I wouldn't have been home until this past Wednesday. It's now Friday. Uh, and, and by the way, I was flying on Sunday. So yeah, that would have sucked. Um, but, you know, everything turned out pretty good. I had to fly into a different airport and take a shuttle bus up to where I ended up living. So, Honeymoon. I went to a bunch of different... I went on a cruise with, with Mrs. Rehnquist. She had a great time. We had a great time. Uh, and we also spent some time in Disney, which was fun. Um, but the biggest thing is uh, I had such a great time because I got so much inspiration from being out there. Uh, abs it was absolutely amazing. And the biggest one was uh, on one of our stops to uh, San Juan. Uh, and the biggest reason is because we went to Old Town San Juan and they had some of the craziest architecture uh, between the architecture and the forts and things like that. Um, I got a lot of inspiration. Now, San Juan was built by the Spaniards, uh, the people from Spain, which the, who were their descendants? Well, the Romans. Now the Spaniards and the Romans have different styles, of course. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit different, but I'm okay with borrowing and kind of blending those two together. Uh, so in San Juan, which I know I'm skipping ahead of my story, because this was really later in the week, uh, they had a place called Old San Juan. Now, this is a place that essentially has been pretty close to there. It's where most of the shopping is. Uh, you have a lot of the old districts, the old buildings. Um, and I don't know why I'm running away when I'm trying to tell the story. Uh, because what I'm trying to tell is right over there. That's what that those little dirt outcroppings were. Now, the coolest thing was that uh, Old San Juan's packed with a bunch of different buildings, really tight. Uh, and it's almost like they're one big building. Uh, and they're kind of divided, and each one has, you know, just a funky color. So they had, you know, there were buildings with the yellows, buildings with the oranges, buildings with blues. And it's, it, you know, it's just neat kind of colors that will really perfectly fit in. And you've got little streets in here that I was working on. So, yeah, so this may be a little shopping area. We can kind of come down, and then maybe there's some shops down here, uh, right behind. So we'll have some, some good, dense buildings here. And then, of course, up leading up to our town hall. Now, let me tell you, the town hall at San Juan is nothing to shake a stick at. It is absolutely gorgeous. The thing is made pretty much purely out of uh, out of marble. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't get to spend too much time in it because uh, we only had so much time with the tour we did. But, but yeah. So let me start from the relative beginning. Uh, yes, our honeymoon was great. We got in our cruise ship just fine. Uh, we met my father and uh, down in Miami before we got in the boat. Uh, and we had lunch, and then he brought us to the boat, which was really neat. So that we, you know, we didn't really have to do anything other than just kind of show up. Uh, where was I here? Building? Sure. We'll start here. Um, so, yeah, that was that was fun. <laughs> uh, and, you know, from there we got on the boat. Get in the boat. Pretty, it was pretty easy. We kind of came in a little bit later than... Uh, uh, than the, pres not necessarily the prescribed time, but just later in the time to check in, uh, which was kind of perfect because there wasn't that many people in line. It was kind of a low key situation. Um, and we got in and we got right on and it was perfect. Uh, and then from there we had a balcony room on the ship, uh, which it was great. Perfect. Um, and you know, sometimes it, depending on how much you really want to spend to go on a cruise, uh, the balcony ship is not... Ne uh, the balcony. Um, I don't want to do that right there. No, no. The balcony room is not. I it is not absolutely essential to make your time um, great. Where is my chest? There's my chest. I need food. Um, but you know, it definitely added a little bit extra where we could kind of sit in our room and relax outside. Uh, and it also came, you know, it gave way to a lot of really cool picture moments. Oh, and all this stone, I'm going to say absolutely thank you. Thank you to Angry Canine and Joe the Pirate who donated quite a bit of stone to my endeavors. I pretty much ran dry and I went and raided their place with their permission, of course. Um, 
and they were pretty much happy to part. So um, there's going to be some interesting things coming with all this stone. Just just throwing that out there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, back to where I was. Yes, the balcony room is is a nice thing, but um, for those that are looking to try to cruise on the cheap, uh, it's not essential. Um, so when we got on the boat, we had a, a relaxing day. Uh, we had dinner. It was pretty fun. Uh, and then the next day, we ended up in Nassau, which is in the Bahamas. Now, this place is owned. Uh, it is a British territory. Uh, and we ended up going to a one of the Sandals Resort Islands called um, Balmoral Island. And this is where we met most of the people we ended up hanging out with for the rest of the cruise. So anybody that goes on the cruise ship, uh, do not be afraid to just talk to random people because you don't know who you're going to who you're going to meet, uh, and you can meet some really awesome, awesome people, and we did. Uh, so, so that's my quick little, uh, quick little uh, tidbit for um, how to cruise. Anyway, so we met our friends for the rest of the sh ship ride, uh, and and yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. We had some fun on the island. It was more mostly it was a relaxing day on the beach. Um, you know, that's as kind of as far as I can talk about to keep it as. Well, you know, as as PG as possible. Nothing crazy happened, but you know, you were adults. <laughs> so, so yeah. And then from there, uh, once we were done, uh, I had to go around to all the different shops on each one of the islands, just as a another note to pick up sand in a bottle for my sister. Yes, I have a sister. Seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, because she has a collection, which is kind of funny. But it, the the reason why I mention it in in NASA is because um, we were we almost missed the boat because of that. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Yeah, she. Uh, I we probably had about 15 minutes to spare before the boat before they closed the doors. And from what happens on a cruise ship, if you miss the door, if they close the doors, they close the doors. You cannot get on. Uh, so you have to. You either stay where you are <laughs> or you fly to the next destination. So um, be careful with that. Anyways, um, so yeah, then, you know, that night we had some more dinner, hung out with our new friends. Uh, and then from there, the next day we went to, we had a day at sea. And then a day at sea, uh, we had our formal night, which was pretty cool. Uh, the formal night essentially means that, you know, and so you, get, you go and you dress up for dinner. Uh, kind of like you're going out to an extremely fancy restaurant. Um, but, you know, the benefit is all the food's paid for, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff, right? Uh, you can have as much as you want. And some people that I know, uh, pretty much every night, a lot of our friends ended up ordering like three or four different courses of everything. Uh, and the food ranged, you know, f they had normal food that y I guess everybody would be accustomed to. Um, and then they had things kind of like your strange picks. Uh, so there was one night that we had frog legs. Yum. <laughs> there were other nights that we had things like escargot. And, and yeah, so I think being that you're on a cruise ship, uh, always try the new things because you never know what you're going to like. And uh, oftentimes you're quite surprised at how, how good things taste. So, so yes, be adventurous especially on all vacations. Don't be in danger, just be adventurous. Uh, what's next? What's next? All right, so I broke it. Crap. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, that was... Oh, I was almost about to, you know, rage there. Um, so, yeah, so Tuesday. Now we're on to Wednesday. This is where we ended up in St. Thomas. St. Thomas is pretty much the number... one of the number one shopping destinations as far as... Uh, sheer bulk amount uh almost in the world to be honest uh and you know we we ended up spending you know shopping and we did that whole thing which was fun now in st thomas there are three three things to do for the most part um you can shop you can go to uh one of the, their local beach called megan's bay or you can take a ferry over to st thomas and and enjoy the beach day there and i have done uh, pretty much all of those things. And, uh, you know, my, my wife, Mrs. Rankwist, she had never been, uh, to, she'd never been on a cruise before. So we, I figured we had to do the shopping, uh, at least once just so that she could get it out of her system. And then we never did it again. 
<laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, kinda. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we did the shopping, um, and you know, it was it was fun in itself. You know, browsing around at the stuff that is way too expensive for any normal person to buy. You know, your Rolex watches and all that stuff. Of course, we didn't buy anything like that, but. Um, but, you know, it's, it's always nice to pretend, right? Um, so that was pretty much St. Thomas. Again, I got my sand in the, sand in the bottle for my sister. Uh, and we kind of went back to the ship. And then from there, we ended up going, uh, just kind of relaxing the whole night. And uh, they, I think, yeah, we went to a... Hi, guy. We went to a show. Uh, and from there, once we, once we were done with the show, I think it was a ventriloquist. Uh, that we we saw he was pretty funny um, and then my wife and I went outside we we're like we kind of we want to go outside we want to have a good time what are you doing oh uh, but we kind of we just kind of were relaxed for a little bit uh, before we do that and so we ended up um, going up to they have an adults only section uh, of the boat uh, that was hosted by the spa area and they had the best chairs I have ever been in. I mean, they were amazing. They were probably uh, five foot in diameter, like wicker uh, lawn chairs that they had out in the, on deck. And they were the most comfortable things I've ever seen. Uh, and two of them, two out of the probably 20 chairs, had like covers, like roofs, um, which was really neat. And the reason why I say that is because we went out, we tried to relax a little bit. Uh, on the chairs before we went out and, and had a good time. Uh, and it ended up being that at, at 9.30 we, we sat down, uh, and then at 6 a.m. we woke up because we had passed out. <laughs> so, yes, we spent an entire night uh, sleeping out on <laughs> the ship deck. Thank God we did not go through any storms. Otherwise, that would have been quite a predicament, right? <laughs> quite. Uh, Anyways, next Wednesday, we ended up going to San Juan. And again, that's where we saw so many cool things. Uh, that was our exploration day. We traveled around the city. Uh, and our plan was to go to the old the uh, Bacardi Distillery Factory, which is an adult beverage for you youngins. You can't have that. Um, but ended, we ended up just not going because uh, we had docked too early to begin with. And... From there, we decided to end up going on a tour, uh, and then with the tour, we ended up at one of the uh, historic forts that uh, it's inside San Juan. Uh, so, so yeah, that was great. And then, from essentially, what we did was uh, instead of doing the whole tour, we ended up staying at the fort. We explored the whole thing, which took a couple hours and a lot, a lot of strenuous activity. Uh, but again, it was absolutely worth it. And and the one thing that I'm planning on doing is I'm going to use the fort idea as a very cool bit of inspiration for for this. In that uh, I'm going to most likely what I want to do is this outcropping here in the stone right by my behind my opponent. Uh, I want to turn this mountain here, at least the bottom part, into a huge fort. And I think it'll really fit the theme. It's kind of the entrance into um, our city. And so we'll have the fort, probably a gateway that comes into the city, another gate uh, that begins with the walls that go all the way around, uh, and then into the city. And again, that's probably towards the end. Uh, and when I say end, I mean after the... Uh, where was my old my stone? There it is. Nope, that one. Uh, after we start working on the arena, because that is... That's going to take quite a bit of... No, I don't want you... Uh, that's going to take quite a bit of resource to, and time. So, um, but now that I know that, it's essentially adding, you know, to the plan, which is great. Um, so yeah, it, and the cool thing about San Juan, um, other than the amount of food that we ate, is that they actually have a free tram. Um, that you know, all they ask is for a small donation to keep it running, uh, which you don't have to do. It's still it's a donation, uh, but. You know, if you throw in a dollar, you kind of pay for, I don't know, something, <laughs> right? Um, but you get on the tram, and it takes you all over the city. So if you are on a cruise and you do stop in Puerto Rico, do not. Actually, uh, Puerto Rico is probably one of the places I would say do not pay for uh, the excursion to go anywhere in Puerto Rico unless you're taking uh, the 
and even then, you know, unless you're doing something specific, like you're doing like a snorkeling or whatever, um, because you there's so many ways to get around the city that you essentially you don't have to pay for it. So, or at least not that much. And I guess a, a prime example would be uh, the excursion to go to the Bacardi Distillery. I think was going to cost us forty dollars a person. Uh, if we had actually gone, it would have ended up. Uh, costing us a dollar per person round trip to get on a ferry over to the distillery and then the tour itself is free once you get there so uh yeah it's quite quite a hustle geronimo oh that gets me every time oh go oh that was a bad idea no run swim swim this will eventually be my bath so i won't be able to do that run oh up the stairs go go Woo! Oh, man, we're going to get this light up <laughs> eventually, someday. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's just that's just gorgeous. Um, so from there, moving on, the next day, uh, what we ended up doing, this is now Friday, uh, we went to the Grand Turks. Now, Grand Turks was easily my favorite place. Sorry, I have an itch. That's why I'm not moving. Um, easily my favorite place. Uh, and second favorite excursion, very, you know, bar to almost nothing. Uh, we, this is one of the few excursions we did pay for, and we are very glad that we did it, uh, to be honest. Ooh, it's just me. I can do some sleep, sleep, sleeping, 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 sleeping. Get in my bed. All right. So, yes, we actually took ATVs, and we toured the entire island on ATVs. Which was amazing. Now, mind you, this island is probably... Now, I'm from New England, at least the New England area. So the most prominent, I guess, place that everybody would know is Boston. Uh, this city was probably about the... Sorry, not the island is probably about the size of um, Boston. Maybe even smaller than that. Um, but pretty close. And it's got a population of about 4,000 on a really good day. <laughs> Uh, when nobody's out, you know, fishing on the water. And uh, the big, in the only industry that they have isn't really an industry, but it's tourism, uh, which makes their beaches and their waters all the more clean, even though it's pretty darn clean everywhere, except for San Juan, let's just be honest. Um, so, so yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we took ATVs and, you know, we, kind of, we rode them through streets and on the beaches, uh, and we were going at quite a clip. Let me tell you, uh, at one point in time, I think we had reached, for my American followers, we probably reached 60 to 70 miles per hour. Um, and for my European watchers, we ended up making it probably close to, uh, it was any, we were coasting at about 40 kilometers per hour all the way up to 80 kilometers per hour, uh, depending on, you know, the roads or wherever we were, which is insane. <laughs> uh, you know, especially for back roads, right? Uh, and then we saw some cool wildlife things and I'm back. Sorry about that. I had Mrs. Rank was calling uh, She was at the door, so I had to let her in So yeah, so from there uh, We had we just saw a lot of cool things and then we ended up spending the rest of the day on the beach uh, And just had a an amazing time because again the beaches are just beautiful there uh, I recommend going there and we could probably do a whole vacation there if we really wanted to, uh, it was that great. So, uh, <laughs> what is next? I'm kind of at a loss for places to build because I have to figure out that intersection. Ooh, Joe the Pirate is on. Anyways, so, so yeah, so we did. Right, ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Yes? Or is it four? It's only four. Crap. Sorry about that, guys. I had to cut out a bit of a silent point. I kind of had a brain fart, and I forgot what I was doing. Uh, yeah, that happens. Um, so where was I in my story? My story uh, kind of ends uh, where, you know, the last day on Saturday was a kind of relaxed day. It was a day at sea, which, you know, uh, is exactly what it says. We did not see land until... Uh, until the next day after that where uh, we were actually port or docked in Miami uh, 
sad, sad day, by the way. So, but yeah, Saturday was pretty much filled with uh, hanging out in the adult section away from those darn kids, uh, and uh, and and just kind of chit chatting with everybody. So, uh, so yeah. From there, um, Saturday morning or Sunday morning, which was our day to leave, we ended up. Um, we ended up getting to the airport, Fort Lauderdale, and it was, and it was a great time. Sorry, I was, somebody was talking. Um, sure. I'm running out of stone again. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, we, uh, we got to the airport, and when we were at the airport at like 2 o'clock, uh, we found out that our flight was canceled. Yippee, uh, from Philadelphia into uh, our home location. So uh, we ended up having to stay overnight in Philly. But other than that, you know, that's pretty much it uh, as I go from the beginning. So uh, we got quite a bit done in this episode. I know it's actually about half as long as what I had planned. Uh, I talked a little bit faster than I did in the first recording. So I think it'll be better for you guys. Uh, this was pretty much a talky episode. Um, when we come back... Next time, this will be finished, and we will probably be working on the blueprints for the town hall. Uh, just because that's the next on our list after we get there. So this is kind of going in a looping location here. Uh, the town hall will be working on. And then from there, once the town hall is built again, guys, the arena can begin. So, uh, again, we're going to th give a big shout-out to AK9, Angry K9, and Joe the Pirate uh, for giving us uh, quite a bit of stone. I have that whole chest, and I have a my ender chest filled with stone. Um, so... When we come back, guys, we will have quite a bit more progress. Uh, but until next guy, until next time, guys, uh, we will see you then. Bye, guys. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. One more thing, too. Sorry. Uh, I will actually have right after this bit. There's going to be a blooper, and there's not going to be any sound because, uh, of course, the sound was lost. But I did have a moment where I was talking, and it was nighttime, and I was, I think, right here trying to end the episode, and there was a humongous horde of zombies, like, absolutely, I think it was probably about 20 zombies, uh, and I ended up saying, you know what, we're going to battle them, uh, and so I tried to battle them, uh, I got stuck in the trees, uh, kind of, you know, pretended to be a Greek, uh, a Spartan, uh, which clearly Romans are not the Spartans, uh, and then I died in there, it's hilarious, I'm going to put that as a little blooper at the end with some music, um, so yeah, so enjoy that, and again, uh, guys, we will see you next time. Bye-byes.